All right, guys, I think everything is ironed out, so I think we are go on this. Welcome to a new Danganronpa fan game. Um, just recently came out, I think last month. This is Hyper Danganronpa H2O. Made by uh, Nick Milk Punches. So, let's... It's it's a it's one of the first like full games that I've fan games that I've seen out, so let's let's check this out. Only a few days left. Only a few days. Only a few days until I can attend. Freedom Academy. The ultimate academy for especially gifted Jew individuals. They say that students who attend GU Academy are guaranteed success for whatever they excel in. Well, that sounds familiar. The school is built in the middle of the sea and hosts students from all over the world. There are only two requirements. The first is that you must be enrolled in high school. The second requirement is that you are the best of the best in your selected field. You need to have a talent that defines you. This is the reason people go to Freedom Academy. What talent am I? Well, mine is a bit of a boring one. My name is Maya Kanzanila, and my talent is super, well, ultimate, ultimate barista. Yeah, that's, they're, they're using the, the Japanese term for it. Okay. I'm from Bologna, Italy, and I'm going to Freedom Academy so I can eventually start my own world famous cafe. To own a coffee shop of my own is my biggest dream. Okay, that sounds cool. Now that I think about it, where was I? I think I was, um, in class? Oh no, I'm sleeping in class. Wait, who cares if I'm sleeping in class? Not me, that's for sure. I guess I should wake her up. She's been sleeping for an awful long time. Wait, what? Who is that? Hey, wake up! <laughs> hey, what's the deal waking me up like that? Uh, sorry, it's just you were sleeping for a while. I was keeping an eye on you so... You so nothing happened, but I thought you should wake up soon. What, were you watching my sleep? What, are you some kind of perv? No, nothing like that. It's just that none of us really know where we are, and I wasn't sure if you knew anything about our, uh, situation. What do you mean by situation? Actually, where am I? This isn't the classroom I was in. And what do you mean by others? Is there anyone else here? Uh, yeah, there's like 14 other people here. All of us woke up without knowing where we were or how we got here, but all of us seem to be ultimates. All of us are ultimates? What about you? Are you one too? Yep, my name's August Clark, and I'm the ultimate model. Huh. Don't look much like one. Model, huh? You must be pretty dumb. All models are dumb, right? I'm not even gonna respond to that. Hey, you should introduce me to these 14 other people. I should probably get to know the others, right? Fine, I'll go with you. Just don't call me stupid again. Can't make any promises. <laughs> Okay, so we are in control now. Very, um, pretty, pretty basic looking interface, but, um, let's see. Um, oh wait, I still don't, there we go. Yeah, I, I test played this before I actually, uh, a couple minutes of it before I actually, uh, start recording just to get a handle on the on the controls it's mostly on the keyboard but i map most of the important stuff to uh joy to key hopefully that hopefully that won't make things difficult later anyways hey new people howdy i'm leona vasquez I'm the ultimate mang mangaka? You know what that is, right? Ultimate mangaka. 
That's like an anime thing, right? Yeah, kind of. It's someone who writes and illustrates manga, which are usually the source material for anime. Oh, okay. So, uh, what kind of comics do you draw? Is it like Batman or Iron Man or something? Um, I think you mean manga. Uh, oh, yeah, manga, that. I mean, technically they're the same thing, but... Yeah, my favorite genre to write and illustrate is definitely romance. I love romance manga. I'd love to be like the girls in them, surrounded by boys giving me constant affection. You're sounding a lot like Toko, except except for her, um, distaste for manga. I see, but, uh, I don't know if real life works like that. Also, I wouldn't want a bunch of boys following me around. I don't trust men. Uh, Especially you. Gee, thanks. I love boys, especially pretty ones with soft lips and flowing hair. I'd love to have a boy dream... A boy like that fawn over me. That'd be a dream come true. Did you just say kya? Of course, the protagonists in romance manga say it all the time. Come on, girl, you can't just let your whole life revolve around boys. Get some agency for God's sake. Boys ain't all that. Kya! Stop doing that! <laughs> wait, wait, can, I, can I talk to her again? Uh, oh, oh, are we? Oh, we go through the entire thing again. Okay. Classroom B. Hey, August, look, it's a cute girl. Huh? Yeah, I guess she's cute. Hi, how's it going? I'm Marie. Marie Filiet, ultimate volunteer at your service. Ultimate volunteer? How's that supposed to work? I have approximately 77,020 volunteer record hours on record, which is about eight and a half years. Holy crap, that is a lot. Eight and a half years? Holy shit, dude. What do you even do with all that time? All that time has just added up over the years volunteering at various charity organizations. I've helped out over a hundred different organizations. I do stuff like clean up litter, getting food for needy people, and participating in public beautification projects. Man, I can never do stuff like that. I'm too lazy. That's totally fine. Not everyone can spend a ton of time volunteering. Just make sure to contribute to your community every once in a while. Oh my god, you are so fucking nice. <laughs> I am certainly not going to remember all these names right off the bat, though. As is usual in these. Oh, let me guess. Are these the... These going to be the dorms? Hey, hey, it's someone else with green hair. Oh, yeah, I guess both of us have green hair. Who are you, exactly? Name's Koji Ito. I'm the ultimate apothecary. That means I work with drugs and shit. Ah, yes, you do kind of, uh... You kind of look like you're into, uh, some of the, uh... Some of the herb. So you're kind of like the ultimate crackhead? Jesus, Mike, you can't just say that! <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's a common misconception. I'm the one that prepares and sells drugs and medicines to whoever needs it, like doctors or pharmacists. So you're like a drug dealer, but not illegal. I guess I do technically deal drugs, but that's not exactly the kind of vibe I'm going for. I'm a standing kind of guy, you know? Hey, uh, don't apothecaries also work with stuff like poisons and that kind of thing? Hey, bro, you're gonna make me look bad, but yeah, I do work with stuff like poisons, tranquilizers, any kind of substance that affects the body. Poison, huh? When one you making my food? Oh, you guys are treating me like a criminal! <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah, when you finish introducing yourself to everyone, you should go to your room or something. Looks like they have one of those high-tech fingerprint locks. I think I remember seeing mine. It had MC on it, so I guess those are my initials. Yo. Howdy, what's your name? Name's Honor Rosenhall, but you can pro but you probably already know that. I'm the ultimate street dancer. Oh yeah, I've heard of you. You're like famous. Yep. Guess I've gotten pretty well known over the years. It makes it kind of hard going out in public with everyone knowing who I am. I'll bet all that fame and fortune makes you pretty popular with the girls. I'm kind of jealous. Yeah, I'm sure it would. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. What is it supposed to mean? Well, it was nice meeting you, Mr. Rosenhall. Hey man, Hunter's fine. Cool, man, who, who knew I'd meet a celebrity? Hello, how are you doing? Uh, I guess I'm doing alright, aside from the whole... this. <laughs> I suppose this is quite the unique situation we all seem to have found ourselves in. Yeah, this whole thing's pretty weird. Oh yeah, I don't think you said your name. My name is Kami Kanako. I'm the ultimate lawyer. I'm at your service. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know a uh, Mia Fey, would you? Oh, you're a lawyer? Isn't that, like, super boring? <laughs> Quite the contrary. I have to constantly fight intense battles of wits. It's a job that's never short on surprises. Well... Well, get ready, hun, because, uh... Knowing what's likely coming up... Yeah, sounds like really boring. If I'm going to battle someone, I want to do it with my fists. In the legal world, fighting like a barbarian will get you nowhere. To be a lawyer, you must have grace and poise, and you must know how to manage yourself and your words. Both of which are things Maya could use a lesson in. Hey, that's a low blow. You know I don't have any impulse control. <laughs> what are you laughing about? What's so funny? You really don't have any self-awareness, huh? You're so mean to me, August. Aren't you supposed to be nice to girls? <laughs> Hey, that dude looks weird. <laughs> so I've piqued your interest, madam. I am honored to have taken the notice of such an enchanting young lass. Wow, holy shit. Wow, what the fuck? Ah, if I surprised you with my nature. I've always been a man of heavy showmanship. The world is a stage, correct? As one of its actors, I must make the play interesting. What, it was Shakespeare that said that... Whatever he truly meant, I cannot say, but I have formed my own interpretation of his words. So, are you an actor or something? Give me some heavy theater kid vibes. Not quite, but almost, my dear. My name is Ric Ricardo Montague, and I am the ultimate special effects artist. Sound effect artist, huh? What kind of stuff do you do, like... Do you light shit on fire or whatever? <laughs> of course not. I'm an S. I'm a sound effects artist, not a pyrotechnic. It's my job to take a production and give it the illusion of reality, and enhance the performance put on by the actors. So you're not an actor? You seem to have the whole actor vibe to you. Well, I have dabbled in acting. It's not truly my calling. The only play I need to be the main role of is my own life, and I want to use it to make other lives more magical. If I can take a product and use my skills to take it to the next level, and create a truly real experience for the active, I have filled out my role in the world's play. Damn, that's pretty, um, introspective, I guess? I expect you to be more like one of those fake, deep theater people that tries too hard to make some weird identity around them. Of course not, my Rose. The only way to truly fill your role is to be genuine to yourself and to others. That is the only way to become a real actor on the world stage. That's cool and all, but you gotta cool it on the road shit. It's freaking me out. Very well, my dear. I will do my best to put on a good performance for you. Okay. Oh. 
Uh, what are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? Weirding me out. Giving off a, a heavy Junko vibe. I'm already not liking it. Yeah, yeah, figures you wouldn't understand. I'm Kakona Tamashiro. I'm the ultimate DJ. Whoa, DJ, that's cool as hell. What kind of stuff do you do? You know, the usual kinds of stuff. Underground raves, celebrity parties, high school reunions, any kind of event that needs banging tunes, I'm there. Underground raves, that sounds so... Underground? Uh, what's an underground rave? Somewhere you would not fit in. You clearly don't have enough chill to hang out the place I DJ. Not chill. I got plenty chill. I could out-chill you any day. I could out-chill you in my sleep. <laughs> Maya, you aren't exactly making yourself look good. You don't have enough chill either. Too much of a stick up your ass. Both of you have potential to be cool, but you're wasting it. What do you know about being cool? What about your outfit? Looks like you're dressed as an anime character or something. A anime character? That's... Yara Yara. She's doing it again. <laughs> Hello, Maya Ka Kanzania. Oh, Jesus, dude. You scared me yelling like that all of a sudden. I don't think you have much room to speak, Maya. You're probably the loudest out of all of us. Hey, how do I... How do you know my name? I haven't even introduced myself. Oh, that's an easy question. I know the answer to that one. The ghost told me. What? Huh? <laughs> I'm the ultimate lord of the dark world. The world bends our... Our scope of life bends... The world beyond our scope of life bends to my will. I am Tamako Fujiwara. Of course, I'm artificial... I'm officially labeled as the ultimate supernaturalist. Ah, we got... We got the obligatory occult freak. The supernaturalist? Isn't that, you know, um... Not real? Ah, so you're non-believers. How unfortunate. You will notice the error of your ways when I rend this world of your kind. Uh, what? Okay, okay, back up. As a, uh, supernaturalist, what do you do? I provide mastery over all things that the laws created by you mortals cannot comprehend. Spirits, demons, anything you deem is too big for your small world views. It is of utmost importance. In fact, if it weren't for my pity, you would be all at the mercy of those that reside in the other world. You should be thanking me. Uh, thanks? That's the spirit. If you keep up that gratitude, I just might spare you when the time of justice comes around. Yeah, of course. We'll, uh, be sure to do that. Come on, Maya, let's book it. Yeah. Yeah, she's a little creepy. Hey, hey, what's your name? Caesar. Caesar, huh? No last name? No. Cool, cool. Uh, what about a talent? What's your talent? I'm sure you got one of those, right? Yeah, I got one. Cool, what is it? None of your business. Here's our, uh, okay, here's our mystery talent person. None of my business. Uh, okay. Guess he's a secretive type. He won't tell anyone anything besides his name. No kind of persuasion seems to convince him to spill the beans. He won't tell us anything? What about, uh, your favorite color? Red. I broke through! I guess. I'm not sure favorite color counts. Can we stop talking now? No problem, bro. I'll talk to you later. Don't you think you're being a bit over-familiar? <laughs> Hi, what's your name? I'm Maya Kanzania. Kanzania. The ultimate barista. How about you? 
I'm Chet Perez. I'm the ultimate astronomer. Oh. Okay. Astronomy? That's so cool. Can you read my horoscope? I'm an astronomer, not an astrologist. Those are completely different things. Oh, that's okay. I can still read your horoscope, though. I know a little bit about astrology, too. Wow, you're so multifaceted. Isn't that a pseudoscience? I mean, yeah, but who cares? It's cool. What's your sign? I'm an Aries. That makes perfect sense, actually. What's that supposed to mean? What does me being Aries have to do with anything? <laughs> I can see it. You're definitely a real Aries. I don't understand what you guys are talking about. Let me guess. You're going to ask for my name in town. Wow, how'd you know? She probably knows that because you've been asking everyone that. Not to mention your, uh, volume issue. <laughs> it means you're very, very loud. My name is Four Kaiden, and I am the ultimate biochemist. I ask that you refrain from being annoyed in my presence. I get migraines. Okay, your your name is four. Like this is like this is nine 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 or something. You must be pretty serious, huh? If not wanting to deal with anything annoying makes me serious, then yes, I'm very serious. So what's it like becoming a biochemist? Why'd you become a biochemist? Don't bombard me with questions. That's annoying. Two questions doesn't count as bombarding. <laughs> Maybe you're too lazy to be bothered to answer questions. Uh, Maya, are you sure you want to call her lazy? She's kind of scary. I'm Maya Kanzania, and I ain't scared of anyone. You're never gonna... You're gonna answer both my questions. Fine. Being a biochemist is a very fulfilling career. I find it intellectually stimulating. As for how I became one, I'd rather not say. I guess I can accept that. At least I got one answer out of you. Now, now I'd appreciate if you left me alone. You're too loud for my taste. Alright, uh, see ya, I guess. Oh. Lots of ellipses. So, Ash Silval, ultimate hypnotist. Hypnotist, huh? That's a pretty neat talent. Whatever. Um, what kinds of stuff can you do with hypnotism? Like, control people's minds, or... Don't you have anything better to do than annoy me? Go find someone else to bother. Jeez, you have a pretty shitty attitude, huh? I'm only mad because you're bothering me. I don't want to talk to you. You're too loud. <laughs> God, everybody is saying that about her. Well, guess what? Your bad attitude's bothering me. What do you have to say about that, huh? I don't actually care. Why don't you go and take your boy toy somewhere else? Boy toy? I'm not! Come on, August. Let's ditch this edgelord. He's pissing me off. Please, God, can you ditch me already? Ugh, you're so annoying! The feeling is mutual. He does have a kind of a point. You are pretty loud. You too? Everyone's against me! <laughs> oh, wow. There's an aquarium, huh? Uh, are you really gonna talk to me? Uh, yeah, I think. I've been talking to everyone else, so I guess I should talk to you, too. Let me guess, you're the kind of person who doesn't take no for an answer. Man, she totally got you down, Maya. She doesn't know when to shut up, either. And you seem like the kind of person who pretends to be friends with people just so you can make fun of them. In a way that's even worse. You can seal your true feeling to torment others. Oh. Did she hit the nail on the head there? Anyway, I'm Oliver Feng. I'm the ultimate florist. Florist, huh? That's a pretty mighty juxtaposition. I just don't look 
I just don't take anyone's bullshit. If you don't like it, get over it. I guess, but don't you think there's a line between... There's a line you gotta avoid crossing? Just saying stuff like that to people he just met is pretty messed up. I don't care, and it's not like it hurts my feelings. And didn't you laugh when I insulted her? I guess you're a hypocrite too. Hey, do you insult people because you think it makes you more honest than others? You're attacking other people's personalities while priding yourself on having a bad one. Ooh. Uh, I think we should get going. Come on, Maya. Dang, this is... I'm already curious as to where some of these are gonna... Some of these relationships are gonna lead. Hi, hi, how's it going? Uh, not great, I guess. I don't know where I am, and from the looks of it, we're kind of trapped here. Gee, way to be a goddamn buzzkill. Don't you know you can't get anywhere with a bad fucking attitude? Uh, sorry? Hell yeah, you should be fucking sorry! How the fuck are we gonna get the hell out of here with bitches like you bringing down, bringing down the whole goddamn group? Okay, I get it. You're, 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 you're dressed like a sailor, and you're, you're cursing like one, too. <laughs> Hell, if I had half the fucking mind, I'd slap the shit out of you right here and right now! Um, so, what's your name? Victoria Hester, I'm the ultimate sailor, and you better drill it in your dumbass brain. <laughs> and she is the ultimate sailor, which I could kind of gather from the... from the outfit. Oh, sailor, I get it now. And what about you, String Bean? What's the deal with you looking like a goddamn deer in goddamn headlights? Oh, uh, well, uh... Sorry. God, you two are fucking annoying. Do you always act so goddamn useless? You might as well be the, the shit on my the bottom of my goddamn shoe. Well, it was um nice meeting you, Victoria. It was nice meeting you too. <laughs> okay. She's gonna be a riot, I can tell. So, so, did we meet everyone, then? I think we did. They said I should go back to my, uh... Should check out the dorm room next, so... Let's check that one out. Hmm. Once I introduce myself to everyone, I should take a nap or something. A bell rings throughout the facility. Please go to the aquarium. I guess we should go. Maybe we'll find something out about this whole situation. Yeah, I guess. Alright. Everyone's gathered in the aquarium. So what the hell are we doing here? Is anyone going to explain where we are? Yeah, I want to know what's going on. There's some funky business happening, and I want to know the deal. What voice should I use for this character? Something... I know... I already know he's not... He's not quite Monokuma, but... Something similar. Did you kids say you wanted an explanation? Who was that? I heard some kind of voice. Perhaps it was the Divine Spirits communicating with us from another realm. I said, did you kids say you wanted an explanation? There it was again. Whoever you are, quit fucking around and come out already. It's seriously pissing me off. Alrighty then! Oh! Is he... What the fuck is that thing? It's a stuffed bear? Frog? I don't think figuring out what animal it is should be at the top of our priority list. Wait, where'd it go? It's not in the tank anymore. I'm right here! Oh, there it is! I'm not it! I'm Karokuma! Yeah, Karokuma? Which is pretty much Frogbear. What's that supposed to mean? 
I'm the headmaster of Freedom Academy, where you're currently residing. We're in Freedom Academy? How's that possible? Yeah, in that one office room we looked we looked out the windows and it was all underwater. We're in some kind of underwater place. Actually, there is an explanation for that. An explanation? What do you mean? Freedom Academy has a basement area. Since the main building is on top of the sea, the basement is entirely underwater. They say it's as big as the main building. Wow, you must be pretty knowledgeable about Freedom Academy. That'll treat you pretty well now that you're going to be spending your life here. Huh? Spending our lives here? What's going on? It's just as I'm saying. You guys are stuck here. The door to escape has been locked up tight, and I think we all know what happens when you break windows underwater. What the hell are you saying? You're just a stuffed thing. You can't lock us up here. Correct. Your mere existence as a stuffed toy has already discredited your point. You tried the door, right? Right? It was locked, I'm assuming. That doesn't matter. We can just knock it down. Hey, that gives perfect leeway to my next conversation topic. The school rules. Hey, green hair, do you think you could help me pass these out? Huh? Me? Yeah, you. Do me a solid and help me pass these out. Karakuma gestures toward a stack of tablets. I figured I should go along with it, so I start passing them around, and the others start booting them up. These things have our names on them. They had names on them? I guess I got really lucky when I was handing them out. <laughs> well, ain't that a coincidence? Actually, every Karo pad is exactly the same, but they have fingerprint sensors that determine what is displayed. That means you can use any Karo pad for whatever you need. Wait, so anyone can use any one of them? Pretty much. Now I want you to open up these puppies and look at the rules. I wonder if that fact is going to be important later. Hmm. We all touch the button, powering on our tablets. When I open mine, it displays my name, then takes me to a menu. I click on the rules option. Karakuma begins to read the rules as they show up on the screen. 1. Students must remain in the GU Academy campus indefinitely. That's fucking bullshit! Shut up, I'm reading the rules! There is no schedule, but sleeping outside of your dorm is considered sleeping in class and is against the rules. 3. Students are free to explore Freedom Academy on their own volition, with minimal restrictions. 4. Damaging school property is against the rules and will face harsh punishment. 5. The Caro Pads are a free student resource meant to be shared with your fellow students. Oh, so it's kind of like how high schools have laptop cards that anyone can use? Oh yeah, my school had a few of those. Don't you think we should focus on the issue at hand? 6. Violence against the headmaster is strictly prohibited. That sucks, I was really fixing to beat the shit out of that thing. <laughs> now, these next few rules may be a bit shocking to some of you, but they may also be a gift to others. What do you mean by that? Tell us. I'm talking about a method to get out! These next few rules will describe the process needed to get out. Okay, I'm kind of slipping into a Monokuma voice form anyway, so... Eh, whatevs. Really? That's great! Mm, won't be so great when you, uh... When you know the full, uh, story here. Something about this made me uneasy. I'm not sure why, just a hunch. An uneasy feeling tugging at me. Let's hear it, I want to know how to get out. Don't say I didn't warn you. The only way to leave the facility is to successfully get away with murder. Once a murder occurs, a trial will take place shortly after, with a period in between to investigate. At the trial, the, the guilty student will be decided by their peers. If the trial go... If the trial... Goers correctly... If the trial goers correctly identify the killer, the killer will be punished and the students are free to continue their school life. If the trial goers vote incorrectly, the killer is able to leave the premises and the rest of the students are punished. 
Additional rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. As Karakuma read off the rules displayed on her tablets, I felt my heart sink. Looking around the room, I could see my classmates in similar positions. I told you. Hey, I have a question. What is it, Miss Greenhair? It talks about punishment in the rules. What does that mean? What does punishment mean? That's a great question. The punishment for everything is the same, so you don't have to worry about a complicated disciplinary system. Just answer the question. Very well, then. Execution! The punishment for breaking the school rules is execution! The only way to get out of this school is to kill someone, then you have to get away with it, effectively killing the rest of your classmates. You're all tied to this game of life and death, truth and lies. A mad dash to see who the first one to reach freedom is. Will you kill to be free? Will you die trying? Freedom is in your grasp, but one question remains. Will you grab this freedom? All of us stand around in shock. Tension fills the room. We stare back and forth, wondering what will happen to us. Can we trust each other? Can we trust this place? We've been trapped here, unsure of when we'll ever get out. We've been told how we can be free, but the circumstances are so... ugly. I'm not sure what I'll do. I'm not sure what I can do. There's no escape. We're all trapped under the ocean with nobody but each other. We have nobody to trust. Nobody but ourselves. But then again, can we even trust ourselves? The stage has been set for the rest of our lives. We decide what happens next. Okay, I guess that was the end of the prologue chapter. I guess... I guess next time we can, uh, we'll start chapter one. This is already, uh, already shaping up to be a very si similar experience to the other three games. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes from here. I'll see you guys then. I'm playing a game.